the University of Oxford is um, the oldest uh, university in the English-speaking world. Um, it's been around for about 900 years. It's mainly known for its college system, so it has about 40 odd of those and uh, is one of the world-class leading universities. And I actually run the computing services which provide central IT services to the entire university. Uh, the number of users is about 40,000. Um, we have a lot of people who work outside the university, but within the university we have about 19,000 students and then about another eight to 9,000 members of staff, academic staff. We've been using VMware for about eight years now. We started in 2003 and we wanted to offer a service that would allow us to quickly run up a virtual machine uh, for people in colleges or departments uh, so they could buy these things, VM for rent as we called it. Um, but we've been moving a lot more into it because we just built a new data center. Uh, we have an existing one which we're refurbing and we wanted to make the default position for all our services a virtualized one and the natural choice was to carry on with VMware and, and use the new suite of programs that are coming out. The major project that we're running um, is to run a private cloud and a public cloud. So we developed a database as a service. So this was a self-service application that researchers at Oxford could fire up a database and this became a V app. Now we were quite used to running this on single servers and we could probably have run it under sort of standard vSphere. But what we wanted to do was to see how easy it was to migrate it from our private cloud at Oxford to the public cloud using vCloud Director. So we've worked quite a bit with VMware and Colt and we've looked at that. We've also looked at some of the other suite, uh, programs in the suite, um, the chargeback and the site recovery program as well. So the service we developed, Database as a Service, was mainly aimed at um, humanities researchers. So people who study arts, literature, history, that sort of thing. Uh, we'd done a previous research project looking how they manage their information in their research and one of the things we came up against was that they had very little understanding of how to manage electronic data in terms of research which they probably would want to revisit in 10, 20, 30 years uh, and they were also building their own databases so that's why we came up with this, this product. Um, so the main users, the main objective of the project was to offer them a self-service project a product where they could fire up a database um, which would in a central service which would assist in managing the data they produced and also would allow them to quickly tweak it uh, and basically maintain efficiency so that they weren't building these things on an individual basis. We received quite a bit of money from the UK government, 1.4 million pounds and this was part of the agenda in the United Kingdom to promote shared services in higher education but particularly to promote the use of the cloud. The benefit to us is that we are bringing together in a central place all of this data and we're also um, reducing the need for people to build their own databases on servers which they then put under their desk and just try to keep up as best as they can. So across the university we're hoping that the provision of sort of like towers, desktop machines will be reduced um, that the data will not be then dispersed and hidden away and no one really knows how to handle or curate it, but it will be held centrally. And we're also offering them a service where they can they could get a database up and running in a few minutes, whereas the standard process in terms of ordering a machine, building a database, setting up could take several months, which of course greatly um, impinges on the research project itself. We've been really pleased with um, the project and working with VMware. It was the natural choice for us because we had a tight deadline to work to. We needed to work with the solution which was tried and tested and which we were already quite familiar with uh, because we had to deliver by March of 2012. So picking the suite of, of, of programs that we wanted to use was fairly straightforward. But that said, the moves in things like vSphere 5, vCloud Director and all the new products which are coming online exactly suited our needs. I think the other thing which was great about the Activate program with working with people from Colt but also working with people from VMware, they naturally understood what we wanted to do and they guided us through some very deep and complicated principles involved in the software which would have taken us months to get our head around to be honest. We found Colt, the service provider, to be absolutely excellent as well. They've really sort of provided all the help we need and they've worked very closely with the VMware team. And again, I think they understand the issues that we're facing, why there are 
uh, tensions over private and public clouds, which sometimes we hear from our researchers, where the data is going to be held. So between the three of us, Oxford, VMware and, Cla and Colt, it's been an excellent partnership. I don't think there's anything more that, that Colt or VMware could have done really to help us in our project. Uh, through their assistance and providing kit, providing the programs, providing their expertise, we've managed to achieve in a, in a matter of weeks what probably would have taken us about six or seven months. Uh, so we're extremely grateful for that. So we have a vision at Oxford really about cloud computing. What we're, we're naturally by default saying is that all our core services, unless there's a, a, a absolutely fair reason, will go onto virtualized infrastructure. Um, we want to build a private cloud. We need to do this because some of our researchers are very wary about where their data resides. They trust us in the center, the central computing services. So they're happy to utilize centralized infrastructure and centralized services. Um, but we are well aware that some researchers will need um, infrastructure or services which we can't provide and they will want to break out into the public cloud and utilize other providers such as Colt or the um, higher education public cloud in the UK. At the moment we've no plans to move away from the VMware suite, it does exactly what we need. I think if we're to expand the business, um, the future direction may be that we can offer some of the services we're offering currently to Oxford researchers to other institutions around the UK. Uh, there's a big financial pressure in higher education at the moment in the UK. Many universities, particularly the smaller ones, are looking to get the most efficient use of their resources and they can't provide the infrastructure they probably need. So we may be there to, to uh, provide that solution to them. The next step for Oxford is to complete the project so that we have a production level database as a service, which will be in the next three or four months. Um, and then we want to uh, link up with the UK National Public Cloud. What we found also is that uh, at, whilst we've been developing this database as a service, VMware have been working on Data Director. So we've been linking up with that project and we hope that once we've completed our deliverables, we'll be talking to the team there and, and maybe acting as a beta site for Data Director because we have a lot of use cases of researchers in all disciplines who would really like to sort of get their hands on that sort of product.